Got the barge cleaned up, put a little paint on it while he's over on this job here. Now we're headed over to Navarre to get started on the next seawall project we got over there. Got an old one to remove and then a new one to put in. Hey guys, here's one of the next projects we're fixing to get started on. We got an old vinyl wall. This is an old one because the Brown series is stuff that I used to install back in the 80s. But the tieback system has failed. The wall's leaning over. We got riprap out in front of it we need to remove. And we're going to take this wall out. We got to be really careful too because we've got a swimming pool right here too. So we'll be having to manage that at the same time. We'll be tying our wall back in that area there with uh, earth anchors, man ray earth anchors. They will be driven up underneath the swimming pool. Got to remove all this here. We're going to go back with a new eight foot wide boardwalk along the top of the seawall. And we'll have a four foot one further down on the vacant lot down there. Here's some more of the wall that's going to be replaced in the boardwalk. I believe this stuff was probably back from the 80s, like I said earlier. It's definitely served its purpose, just the tieback system has failed on it. And the wall's starting to bow over. You can see you've got several walls in this area right here also. An old creosote wall, then it came out with a vinyl wall in front of it. I don't know if y'all are familiar with this product here, but this was called Superwood. This was uh, some recycled plastic from Coke bottles and bleach bottles. A couple farmers up in Alabama had made a place called Superwood. And uh, they got a new line put up and started producing a whole bunch more of it because of the demand. And somebody flipped a cigarette down in the plant, burnt the whole thing down, and they were not insured. They were all self-insured, so they said, forget it. But this is stuff that my dad put in. This might have been one that my dad even put in back in the 80s also. Of course, should have used stainless steel screws because they don't look too good, but the decking still looks good. That's really cool. Eve. In preparing for installing this new seawall, we're going to do a naval style wall here. We've got to get all this broken concrete riprap pulled back out of the way so we can get this wall removed. And then I'll install the new wall behind all this rock. And then I'll push the uh, rock right back up and up against it. The rocks right here is good because that's at the entrance of this canal here where it kind of breaks up the wave action that's coming in from the intercoastal waterway. But down in the rest of the canal, it's just going to be a naval style wall on any rock down there. You can see here that this area takes a pretty good brunt from wave action. So that's why I got the rip wrap right here. Got some vinyl sheet pilings coming out this morning, all in pretty good shape. Looks to be about uh, 10 foot long.
this area here. A lot of concrete debris down there and filter cloth we had to get out of the way. We got uh, the poles installed, double whaler system. Use a 2.5 CCA salt treated lumber on the bottom whaler and 0 0.80 on the top layer uh, whaler. We got the uh, 14 foot vinyl sheets installed. Now we're working our way down with some more whalers and get some more sheets installed. Now, there's no other way to do it but just get in the water. A little chilly out here too. I got a ride along on top of my tractor today. <laughs> dead men in or tie back pilings. They're seven, eight foot long pilings. We're jetting them down 12 foot back behind the wall, attaching a 5 8 type 316 stainless right, steel rod right. to it. Hold it right there, Jason. Don't let it, don't let it go. Alright, Braxton, get the drill. Get the we just got the manta ray anchor driven 16 foot or almost 16 foot behind the seawall. Now we're connecting a um, six foot rod to the 12 foot rod that's already been buried with a coupling net. We'll tie that rod to it, we'll drive a couple more feet and see that there's probably another foot sticking us inside the wall once we get that driven in. We'll hook up to that rod and pull on it and lock the anchor. We're doing this because of the swimming pool. We can't really put any pilings right there next to the swimming pool, so I'm driving these anchors up underneath the swimming pool to hold up the uh, seawall. Got the driving rod laying here. We'll fix and pick the driving rod up. Put it in the main rate earth. Like anchor. our horses, we're going down right under. There. That's a driving rod. Fix and install into the main rate earth anchor. Right there at the end, we'll slide that in there. Then I'll take the hammer here and drive that down the ground. Record for it over there. Over there, you come back this way. Yeah, back it off, Braxton. Back it. You can't push it out. You got to spin it, buddy. Opposite way. There you go. You got to go more, Braxton. They won't push together, guys. I'll let you know. You have to have it just right. Back it off. Back it off.
right, Braxton, hop out of the way so we can see what we're doing when we're... If you could, please. Thank you. All right, hook. Ready to move? 